The property of recovery that I'd like to talk to you today is about establishing priorities or re-establishing priorities. I'm reading a book right now called Value-Based Leadership and it's written by Kramer. Another book that I'm reading with my daughter is called Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens by Steve, uh, Sean Covey. And the other book recommendation that I'll make to you is See You at the Top by Zig Ziglar. Now, why do I give you book recommendations? Well, if we don't know better, we can't do better. If we don't have new knowledge, we can't apply and we can't get to a better destination. We're gonna end up at the same place if we don't take in better knowledge. So, what are priorities? Well, when you look at your life and you write down the components of your life, family, friends, business, your faith, um, clubs, recovery, your health, those are your priorities. In the book that I'm reading, he very, very specifically says, make a list, first priority, second priority, third priority, fourth priority, and write them out in that way. Don't have three first priorities. Don't have any multiple second priorities. It has to be one for each. That's the only way to create and establish and to maintain a balanced life. Once you have that, you're able to create a time budget. There's 168 hours in a week. If you take that, you can divide it to make sure that if you say, this is my first priority, I need 10 hours for this first priority. You will constantly make sure that you're meeting that quota. Now, why create priorities? Why write them down? Well, it's part of your self-evaluation and self-reflection. What I found, interestingly enough, is that I had put my health and wellness, not even thinking that there's anything wrong with it, but I put my health and wellness as number four. I put my kids above it and the people that I help above it. Well, that just can't be. So, based off of that, I humbly recognized that I had my priorities out of whack and I put it back where it was supposed to be. Within that, I can obviously recognize that I haven't been making that a priority and I have to look within taking care of myself. Do I get enough sleep consistently? Is my eating um, healthy? Is my, uh, can I be exercising more? Well, again, in order to change one of those things, I have to take in better knowledge. So I spoke with a friend this week who gave me some good advice about some just really easy ways to amp up uh, exercise. So she mentioned, you know, after dinner, just go for a walk with the kids around the block a couple times. I thought that was a brilliant idea. And so I'm going to apply that. That's going to be my one goal. So after I establish that, and it's going to be easy because my kids can hold me accountable. And when you, it is important that if you set a goal, that somebody will hold you accountable because we need a team. We need, I need people to be on Team Christine. And so in this situation, my kids can hold me accountable. I can hold them accountable. If you have a friend that can hold you accountable, it's necessary. On our own, you know, we can't be an island. We have to branch out from that. Our personal well-being has to be one of our top priorities. It must be. See where it falls on your list. Once you have your list written out, once you have a time budget written out, and it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just about progress, not perfection. It's about evolution and metamorphosing. So once you have your list written out, create one goal and make it manageable. Make it small. Maybe it's just being a consistent flosser, something manageable, or something made like me. Maybe you're not really big on exercising, but you're committed to becoming that person. So make a small manageable. Say I'm gonna walk you know, up and down my stairs seven times. I'm just gonna do it randomly throughout the day. Just go up and down my stairs seven times. Or I'll walk around my block. Set something up. Have somebody hold you accountable, somebody that you love, somebody that you trust and that you can be vulnerable with. Not somebody that holds your weaknesses against you. That's really important. Um, on that note, I'm going to end and just remind you again, in order to help you set up your, your priorities, you have to take in new information. So see you at the top by Zig Ziglar. 
Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens, um, and there is an adult version also.